2016. I just inherited my mom's crusty Asus laptop and got to finding games to play on it. Up until that point, I only played mobile games, Pixel Gun 3D, Bad Piggies, and that Red Bull game on my uncle's Nokia. I did the usual beginner search for games to run on 4GB of RAM, top 15 games to play on old potato PC. I remember trying out Hitman Blood Money, Medal of Honor Allied Assault, Prince of Persia The Two Thrones. I remember watching my dad play these games. Obviously I was partying, I was going crazy. Sometimes he would install a vast antivirus alongside a McAfee sick cleaner. Excellent narrator. El narrador se ha cerrado inesperadamente. Si esto no se esperaba, visite el sitio web oficial de Microsoft. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Some random ass Trojan that ran my CPU up and would respawn after being killed in Task Manager. Look up how to uninstall virus, how to boot in safe mode or some shit. Hello, your computer has virus. It was difficult to find games that ran well, or ran at all. Everything kinda settled at a choppy 30 to 45 FPS. I played through GTA San Andreas twice and never managed end of the line without bug of All the fire in the building completely ran my Intel HD graphics into the ground. Spent a lot of time looking up guides, how to optimize performance for potato PC. If you've been through this, you know the protocol. Power plan, clear temp folder, disable programs on startup, disk cleanup, defrag hard drive, install some bullshit driver booster, install Windows 10 Lite, Ghost Spectre, anything to get that 3 FPS boost in video games. One day while looking for top 10 games to play on potato PC, I stumbled upon Counter Strike. <laughs> Я тебе куда казал? Ехать! За хлебом, а чё? Так а шо ты сидишь? Давай пошуршал, бегом. Всё, едем. Максим. А, там. Где? Где? Downloaded some random client of the internet. I think it was this one. I don't even know. There's a lot of these fucking CS 1.8. This game was different and it ran relatively well. One smoke grenade or somebody turning on their flashlight will still drop me to like 10 FPS. So I started looking for FPS boost guides. Found something about a config file, where to drop it in the game files. What is this HL.exe? 2017 is when I first played Half-Life from a pirated CS client. Got lost on the chapter on a rail, so I went on YouTube to look for a walkthrough. This is when I saw a video titled Half-Life in 2041. I watched it, mesmerized. There's no way this is the same game I'm playing. This really had me interested in the Half-Life sphere. Not really the story of the game, just the speed tech. Where you have to wait for the... Uh... Uh, rocket to launch into space. I don't really re recall the story of the game. I remember vividly doing my first strafe ever. It was right here on this spot. I jumped, flicked my camera and got on the other side of the wall. I spent a long time jumping around dust too with low gravity and a b-hop script just practicing my strafes. Eventually getting to the new gauge Half-Life client, which is what speedrunners used back in the day. On the same website I saw this new gauge Sven Coop 3.0. At least I believe this is how I found Sven Coop, but I made my Steam account in 2019 for this game. And it was the perfect game to play on that crippled ass laptop. Half-Life multiplayer but co-op, not like AG where you get dissolved as soon as you enter the server. Back then you could find full Half-Life campaign servers with like 8 players working to skip. We've got Hostiles, Power Up, Gunnage Slayer. The hype died down though I don't see it anymore. This movement style really grew on me and every time I play something else, like I played Far Cry 3 recently, I instinctually scroll to jump and try to air strafe with A and The person who made Earthquake, a mod that adds air strafing in Minecraft, said something that resonated with me. I have no idea if this mod will be of interest to anyone else, but it's a style of movement that I have grown to love and I find it hard to play any game without it. I always find myself going back to Source, Eid Tech, looking for something from that engine branch I haven't played yet. Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends caught my attention by inheriting Source movement. Valorant's only appeal is the ability to air strafe. I look at new AAA titles and my reaction is is okay but where's b-hop canals this is the price to pay for van hops or mirage and fast run world records this is the bunny hopper curse i love fast run guys i don't know what i don't know why most of the people hate that map but i think it's amazing like it's like so tricky map it's so good to play 